and we are live. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Inside Movies Galore. I'm your host, David Streggy. Here in the room, uh, we we have um, uh, a, a couple of gentlemen from Witchtown Productions. Uh, um, why don't you t uh, tell me um, uh, exactly what your names are and uh, uh, how did you get involved with uh, uh, the uh, the feature film Witchtown that uh, you not too recently uh, brought out to the public? <laughs> um, yeah. I'm Stephen Biggin. And I'm uh, Josh Kenzowitz. Um, hello. Thank you, David, first yeah. of all, for having us here. Definitely. Um, Sorry for starting a little late, but uh, we're uh, uh, we're here and ready to go. So uh, definitely, um, definitely looking forward to hearing how you got involved in your way of filmmaking. So, um, uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, well, which town got started originally as uh, just kind of a goof, you know? Um, we, we were going to make um, a series of shorts. It all kind of eventually, you know, blended into each other and, and, and became, if you watch them in sequence, one, you know, final product. Um, and as we were doing that, we realized it would be, you know, they that these sequences had so much in common that we might as well merge them in, into just one, you know, flick. Okay. Um, with that, you know, thought uh, in mind... Um, with with some of the articles we had read and just uh, various uh, videos we had watched and stuff like that, we thought we would try crowdfunding. You know, we had never done it before for anything. Um, okay. You know, we we both used to make uh you know little little videos and and goofy kind of you know little shorts and stuff back in the day. And I I've made some um industrial videos for for businesses and stuff like that. But um, we veered off from, you know, making creative stuff and we just thought, you know, maybe we could see where this goes, try to crowdfund. And we were shocked when people started giving yeah. us money. Yeah. We, we, uh, we basically, we won, we got what we were going for the number plus more. And, uh, it was, it was, uh, it was real exciting. It basically solidified it uh wrote it in stone and we were just at that point 100 miles an hour just well, going straight into it and uh me uh, since i uh, i've uh, contributed to a lot of uh kickstarter and indiegogo campaigns over time uh, i know that kickstarter especially you you have to reach a certain goal uh, in order to in order to finance your project or whatnot and and if you supersede that uh, at amount you know you can can you can keep going i think just a little bit longer because uh, yeah, i'm not sure exactly i I, yeah. I never really looked up all the rules i, I still don't uh -huh. know the rules <laughs> we, we might owe them money still i don't know <laughs> <laughs> well maybe, maybe the uh, uh the necro guys uh, 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 uh the, the 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 nephilim uh, uh, giants oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. They'll, um, they'll, they'll handle it for yeah, us. Yeah, they, the, the giant... <laughs> yeah. They, All right. They, so, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, what which town is, and uh, a little bit about? I, I mean, I know it's still running around on, uh, uh, the festival circuit, but uh, uh, give us a little bit of a, uh, a premise. Uh, giants taking over the government. Well, it sums it up right there. If you want to be well, it's. Uh, yeah, in, in, in a nutshell, I guess you could sum it up that way. It's, I, I would say it's a, uh, it's a quasi social political commentary on, um, kind of what I, I don't know, at least I've perceived the, uh, uh, the, the, the legal the, system. Well, the, 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 <laughs> high, the, the current hive mind of America to yeah. kind of be, um, everyone's looking for some kind of, um, savior hero and uh frankly it's just not out there and we kind of superimposed that that sort of thought uh over a sci-fi flick yes about uh, uh two wizards two bumbling wizards yeah. bumbling occultists attempting to summon uh ancient beings to overthrow the government to reset mankind on the path it has so far veared from yeah. Um, and, and that's, 
That's that's <laughs> how are you a uh, political background in the wonderful world of which town. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, how did you go about and find um, the characters that were involved in your film? Were, were they friends and family? Um, uh, neighbors? The characters or the the characters or the actors? No, the actors involved. The actors involved. Um, JJ, you want to take this one? Yeah, we uh got friends and family involved on this one. It's mostly friends and family. Very, very few people uh, involved had had prior acting experience other than like maybe a high school play or something like yeah. that. But it was just funny to me that that uh, that was enough. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it's not no one's going to win an Oscar in this flick. Um, but I think the acting is convincing enough. Um, and, and it, it, it kind of shocked me. Yeah. And it, it uh, it completes everything. And it, no, I, and, I, uh, I, I thanks to that the film had a premiere uh, not too long ago, correct? Yes. Yes. Um, we, we had a, a few of them. Um, one of them was uh, last weekend at the uh, Motor City Nightmare International Film Festival, which we, we did not place in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it was shown, but that, that's where it ended. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we, we've had some pretty good turnouts actually. Um, uh, th that, that was the third time the film was shown publicly. The, the one before we, we showed a couple weeks earlier in, uh, Cleveland at Visible Voice. It was at a, a bookstore slash bar slash pizza joint. Um, that was our Cleveland premiere, our Toledo premiere. The Cleveland premiere was pretty good. Uh, our Toledo premiere w was really awesome. Um, yeah. We probably despite, had um, despite some setbacks. Yeah, yeah. We probably had what a hundred and hundred and twenty people, something like that. I don't know. I maybe more. I, yeah. Um, I mean, it, the place was jammed. It was packed. We were trying to count people and kept losing count. <laughs> but we, uh, we, we, we misjudged. Um, we misjudged some things. Uh, we, we were trying. So, for those of you who haven't seen the movie. Uh, there's a moment where one of the characters, I don't want to reveal too much, but uh, mm -hmm. one of the characters passes through a portal like uh, <laughs> yeah. entry into an other world. And when we when we showed that live, we set up a fog machine um, <laughs> behind the screen, kind of like we were trying to do like kind of a Rocky Horror yeah, thing make, where it's it's breaking the fourth wall. Yeah, and, make give, give it some environment, you know, get people in the mood, get some smoke in there and then make it creepy because the very next scene is uh is a scene that, that's heavy in smokes and it's very quiet so we thought if we could blast it during this portal scene the next scene's real quiet and the scene's you know smoke covered uh fog covered and how cool would it be if, if the bar was too you know and everyone's quiet sitting in this fog well it didn't work out so great and we set off the fire alarm <laughs> and uh the, the toledo <laughs> the, the finest the yeah. finest fire department the, the toledo the yeah the downtown fire department Nice. <laughs> so uh, ultimately, um, uh, now that you uh, you had it out on a video format to your Kickstarter uh, uh, people, from what I understand, you you've actually um, made some limited edition uh, leather bindings for your physical media, correct? Hello. Lights flashing. Okay. You hear us? Now I can hear you. you okay. Out for a moment. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. Um, but we we were talking about the uh, the the premiere the smoke, and and the fire department came, and there were lights flashing. But you know what? Uh, we were able to take control of the whole situation, and and uh, we were able to raffle off some things and uh keep everybody interested and uh actually nobody left during that whole thing which was shocking yeah we we retained the whole audience and the bar didn't get fined which was a a, a good thing yeah um so and we resumed the movie and every everything went went beautifully after that thank god um, now, um did you use the same bar that you uh you uh showed it at in the film no, actually, that is um, that's not a real bar that we shot. You're talking about the bar that we shot at in the film. Yeah. 
Um, no, that's actually um, it's it's my wife's. Um, it's her aunt. It's it's in a barn behind their house, basically. Yeah, they they um, redid their whole barn. They they turned a barn in, in, into a bar, and well, I think they bought it that way. But um, somebody turned turned the barn into a bar. Yeah, but it was the perfect spot. Oh, we yeah. kept looking for a location, and uh, we realized that would be th the best yeah. if we filmed it right. We could make it look like you know it. It was just a, a you know a hole in the wall bar, and um, we oh. wouldn't we wouldn't have to worry about having to film at a real bar and having it, it, patrons. A, yeah, and, a real bar wouldn't have put up with none of it. I'm sure. <laughs> it would just. It, I mean, we could have found somewhere. I'm sure, but it just it would have been difficult. We had to film yeah. during the day, probably, and make it look like night, and yeah, you know, just just a bunch of bullshit. Um, now, from what I understand, now, from what I understand you, um, you um, uh, once you uh, put once you uh, out on uh, physical uh, media uh, for the Kickstarter, uh, for the uh, people, uh, uh, you made this leather bound uh, thing that, uh, that you. Uh, uh, put over the case, correct? Yes, correct. And that's sweet too. Um, those uh, those were a limited run. We're considering making more of them. We we still have a couple of them left. Um, they take about fifteen hours to make. If if that's minimum, that's minimum. Yeah, it's it's, it's the, they're they're a lot of work, but they're all custom. They're all um worked into yeah and, and uh it's almost like a grouting it's just uh a lot of a lot of work with glue and sand and leather <laughs> it's piece fitting you got you got you got a piece each each you know you you put one part on it and you got to fit the next piece to it just yeah to take some time leather's hard to cut through too i don't think people realize that like le it's skin yeah well it's essentially thick. It's, it's thick leather too it's real thick we we use the thickest leather and we don't buy new leather uh we intentionally look for leather scraps either from hobby stores that sell just bags of, sc of scraps from you know furniture stores and um uh, yeah. uh clothing stores and, and then we actually got a, a big bag of leather scraps from uh a furniture store for free yes yeah, so that was nice sometimes you just got to go to the farm too <laughs> got to go to the well <laughs> no no we've never we've never been to the farm <laughs> all righty so um uh, now uh, ha having had the film do uh, 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 done and having it out uh, to uh, to uh uh, other, you know, areas uh, uh, for it to be viewed. Um, what more do you have in store for, uh, uh, down the road? Are you still going to stick with the uh, independent horror genre, or are you going to uh, uh, broaden your horizon to uh, other avenues? Well, I personally love the independent horror genre. Um, I, I mean, it, it's my favorite genre by far. Yeah, um, the freest. Um, I, I'd like to branch out though. I've been working on a, a few different things. Um, it's just, they're, they're all just ideas at this point and just kind of research. <laughs> I, uh, I started writing, um, a loose outline for a, a documentary maybe, um, about local lot uh, water pollution, um, around here in the, the mom, the mommy river and, in, in, uh, Lake Erie. Um, there's a couple friends that, that have kind of come out of the woodwork, which is funny that used to make films that are interested in, in, in doing some stuff and been tossing around some ideas. Um, I'm totally down for witch town too. Uh, I've, I've been kind of working on that when uh, the script, when I have some downtime sort of, it's not an immediate uh, <laughs> thing I'm trying to rush into. I don't know yeah. about you, but yeah, which um, time too would be awesome. And, and we'd have, we, we, we would pull it off the right way. It would be. Well, which town two would cost between 50 to a hundred grand. Yeah. It would and, have and to, it would, to make it, it work. The, it, and and it, everything would be awesome. It's uh, <laughs> the, I just the idea that that's been tossed around that, that I'm kind of tooling with. I'm just, I'm just toying with these characters. I think the characters are fun. We've introduced some, some new characters uh, that are fun to toy with as well. Um, and uh, I'm just going to tinker with it for a while, see where it goes. I, I, I want to make it nutso. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
<laughs> totally understand. You want to make it the most whacked out film that you can uh, uh, totally think possible and yet still stay true to the original, you know, yeah. original baseline. Uh, right. That, uh, that way, you know, I mean, now that you've gone through the process, you, you can now understand, you know, how uh, how filmmaking it is, is for, uh, making it from a feature standpoint. So, um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was a tough feat. I mean, and you know, um, <coughs> about how long was your shoot by the way? What's that? How, about how long was your filming shoot? Uh, how long, uh, 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 how long of a period? Did you oh have? man. Um, it, it, it was really, it was done in chunks, I would say. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, but there were times when we just film every day for, the, it would, I'd say it, almost six months. It would. De- I mean, it would depend on the scene. I, I would say total. If you if you gathered all the time that we spent up into a basket, um, I would say collectively it was it was well over a year. Yeah. Um, uh, if if you if you lined everything back to back to back to back to back, yeah. to back it would be about a year of shooting. But it, there was a lot of changes being made, like uh, on the fly. Too. There were. So it's it's like we um, we would. Which was not it. Was it wasn't? We we had a script, but we didn't follow it always, and we would just go with uh, how we thought it, it would look best. Some of our actors. Oh, uh, to I, I want to. Uh, you always try to start that? with a script, you know, and if you have to change it during uh, during the, you know along the way to make it suit you know the the feature, then you know have at it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Right, totally. Um, yeah, uh, so, some 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 of our actors, myself included, um, on some of the longer shoots, uh, would indulge in you know a few beers, and that would lead to absolute lunacy yeah. on, on camera. That I, I would just, I mean, I would, I, I most of it ended up in the film, um, <laughs> and uh, I blame the alcohol. So. <laughs> Well, if anyone asks, <laughs> they say that uh, uh, a mug of beer is a- actually like a can of beans, so to speak. Well, <laughs> like, yeah, that. yeah, it's like it's where it's like Popeye's can of spinach, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, ultimately, uh, do you have a, a another uh, film festival that this film is uh, showing up at? Has it been accepted anywhere else? Later. Um, we're entered in four more. Yeah, yeah we're okay. entered in quite a few. Um, plus looking to add. We're looking to add. It's all about funds right now, and it's like I, I we we've tossed around the, <laughs> the idea of doing a second fundraiser. Uh, just to help promote. to to get it into festivals, but it's like I don't I don't I don't think we can uh, consciously ask people that. Um, so we've been kind of just scrimping and saving and and we're, we're gonna enter in some more but we we have four more uh it's four or five more um that we're entering right now that that you know it's it's still tba well and um, I, I would say as a suggestion down the road uh when you do uh, do uh, another kickstarter for another feature uh, like uh, like say which town too uh, i would suggest uh um, also budget in the uh uh, festival, you know, stuff, so, uh, so that next time around, you you won't be having this scraping around, yeah. doing all that jazz. So yeah. <laughs> that's that's the, the, that's good advice. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's 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 good to have uh, experience, a little more experience. Yeah, in. yeah. But oh, yeah. Uh, you, I mean, you learn, you know. There's a lot that uh, that goes into it. Uh, I mean, uh, you. Oh. Uh, you got the post production. You got the the after produ- uh, 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 production. You got the you got the marketing that you have to do. You know, uh, you know, it's all about yeah. how how kind uh, what kind of a face you put on your film. Did right. not even think about that. All, all the shipping for the Kickstarter backers that 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 was almost yeah. two hundred bucks. We didn't figure <laughs> that into it at all. <laughs> um, the website, you know, we, we wanted to get a website going. That was almost 300. It's almost 300 bucks a year uh, to run that. Um, yeah, the festivals and everything. We're going to be at in, in October. Um, this is worth mentioning. 
uh, we're going to be at the the Gulardi Fest. Are you familiar with that, uh, I David? Have, I think I've actually heard of it, uh, but uh, you can definitely uh, let me know the date, and I'll share. Uh, or um, I'll sh if you have a poster or what whatnot. Once it comes time for uh, for it, I'll definitely help sh share it around down the road. Yeah, there, there yeah. Will be it's all those. it's it's one of the. I don't know if it's the oldest, but it's one of the oldest uh, horror conventions in the country. Um, Vince Goulardi used to be a, uh, a, a an announcer. Um, he's kind of like uh, you know the announcer before Saturday Saturday night late night movies stuff like that. Okay. Um, and uh, later on, he became the voice of the Saturday night movie. This is the Saturday night movie. It's Vince Goulardi. Um <laughs> and he's he's kind of a, a famous guy. And um, Big Chuck and Little John also. Um, I don't know if they. I don't know if they ever worked with. I don't know how how they got hooked up with Gulardi actually. Um, what, what the history of that is, but they they're from Cleveland and they used to do uh, Gulardi is too. He's from Cleveland, um, and they used to do shorts also um, before Saturday night you know late night movies. And it was you know a real big guy and a real little guy. Um, they were a comedy act, Big Chuck and Little John. Um, <laughs> They're gonna be at the convention. Actually, I think they're the ones that that host it every year. Okay. And, um, I'm hoping we get to meet them, and um, that that's gonna be a, a an exciting one. It's a yeah. three day event. Um, I think it's is it October. I can't remember what it's, the date it's, is. Yeah, I have it's it. in October. So mid off. If you if you Google just go Google Gulardi Fest. Anyone who's listening, that's yeah. And <laughs> you'll you'll find we're, that we're gonna. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna be there all three days. We'll be there all three days by contract. They made they contracted us to that. So nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they contract everyone. You you got to be there three days. Yeah. <laughs> all righty. Well, um, uh, um, did you um did you have anything else to say before uh, before I I, uh, I let you guys go uh, here? Because uh, uh, I know that uh, I I appreciate you guys coming on uh, on. Uh, I know this is my fun thing to do, but, uh, uh, and, uh, this is, no, no, we, we really appreciate yeah. the chance, any chance to, um, speak about the flick. Um, I just want to say, um, if there, if there's a final statement, uh, you know, it's, it's been a long journey and I'm glad that the film's getting out there and I'm glad that we're, e even though, you know, some of the showings have been a little, um, it, it, they've been a little lacking in, in participants or more lacking than I would like. I'm glad that the people that have showed up have, um, and I'm glad yeah. that, that the people who've seen it have seen it. Yeah. And uh, I'm just really kind of blown away with, with uh, how far we've taken this tiny idea. You know, it, yeah. it's been three years, but it, it's really snowballed. It's, and it's, it's turned into a, a, a great, a great experience. And uh, yeah, what do you art? What do you want to say, JJ? Do you have a final statement, JJ? Well, um, I just want to, yes, uh, say thanks to everyone who helped us out and for the support at Kickstarter and for your support. And uh, uh, thank yeah, you, yeah, right? Thanks. Just th and, thank uh, you very much. It's no, um, uh, Dave, David. You, uh, you, 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 you um, uh, now you are actually one of the producers behind this project, correct? Yes. Cool. Um, so yeah, uh, and I just, I just figured, uh, figured I'd ask uh, so that the listeners knew uh, 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 what your involvement was, and you're, you're pretty much best friends with, uh, with Stephen, correct? <laughs> yes. And uh, I, I, I was also acting as, as one of the wizards, and my band uh, did a lot of the. Back background uh, music. Yeah, with, JJ uh, was also a, mu a musician. Um, with, if you uh, read, <laughs> if you read those credits, it's just <laughs> the same names repeated over and over. Which uh, yeah. it's <laughs> kind of, but uh, but you know what? I actually thought the credits were actually kind of cool. Uh, I uh, see. Whenever I put uh, put into a project, I always roll, uh, especially when my name's going to be in the back. I, I roll to see the credits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, names, the, sometimes the right. name are just so whacked out that uh, that you have to laugh your ass off. Yeah. You know, and oh, uh, what 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 they name the characters like like uh you know what uh, a chick with boner or 
exactly. Like, what? I mean, obviously, people don't want to be associated with some of the uh, 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 films. They just want to be called, you know, the boner or. Uh, or you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, right. Or, 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 actually, had Rex Stanton or, or, or something like that. You know, a creative na uh, name. Uh, the, when you have fil uh, films uh, like uh, like uh, like this, sometimes you know it's it's kind of cool and creative. So oh, yeah. I'm glad you watched the credits because I was wondering. We put in a lot of special thanks and stuff at the end. I was wondering if everyone would see those. And um, hey, did did you listen to the commentary by chance? Did you did you know there was a commentary? I knew there was a commentary. I just haven't watched it uh, uh, watched it per se. That's okay. You don't have, you don't have to. You don't have to. <laughs> I love. Well, now it's, that I know that it's, uh, it's uh, that it's there, I'll, I'll listen to it now. Because, because it is kind of funny. I just I, I keep running into people, and I, I I thought for some reason on the back of the DVD, I thought I thought that we had put audio commentary, and then I yeah. went and and I, I was arguing with someone the other day because they were saying you don't have that in the back of there. I didn't know that was on there, and I'm going, yes, we did. We put it in the back, and I flipped it over, and we didn't put it on there. So. I don't know if anyone huh. knows. Well, it does not say, we'll, we'll have to make that change. Another we'll have to play another that I can suggest uh, down the road is uh, that I know some people that love to watch like the behind the scenes of how you actually filmed your film. So the oh, more please. extras that you have filmed backstage um, that, uh, that you can put, even, even like bloopers, you know, uh, people love that kind of thing afterwards oh i'm sure i i wanted to go through and put and put together some kind of, of blooper reel and we just we were running out of time yeah. um i'm we, sure we wanted to get these out to to all the backers oh, yeah. and we were oh, we were I'm, I'm just saying, saying the next time at uh, time around just oh yeah no i i i still think i still think we could do something like that or at least release it on the kickstarter or something for people to watch or i don't know in, in some way um, but you know what everyone had a nasty habit of doing on this shoot that I will nip in the bud <coughs> on the next one. Sure. Um, if something goes wrong, people hit stop on the camera. Oh, <laughs> I like, I could not believe that the, uh, 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 almost everyone that operated the camera in, in the flick would hit stop when something would go wrong behind stage because they figured, oh, well, no one, we, we got to stop where, you know, something went wrong. Yeah. And it's like, no, you keep filming. <laughs> Th this will make its way into the DVD. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, even the mistakes, even the mistake, uh, mistakes uh, m make it look, you know, natural. Uh, you, you want some of the mistakes to stay, uh, stay in, in there because... Uh, Obviously, people who are going into these films are n are not expecting the best, <laughs> uh, but I they're not, uh, really also agree. not expecting the worst either. So no, they 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 want to be entertained, <laughs> and I, I call it all. It's it's almost like a juvenile way, you know. Um, it's uh, it, it it's just very like the the these kind of movies. It's very tongue in cheek. It's very uh nitty gritty over the top uh to compensate for for the lack of you know it's, it's um, very stylized very stylized and it's almost out of it's stylized out of necessity <laughs> because yeah. it has to be yeah um to, to, to make it an entertaining flick the greatest no budget film <laughs> are ours are the ones, are the ones with oh, style how are you saying this is the greatest no well, budget movie. It, that it is. We want to send it to John Waters. I'm curious what uh he watches his fans like people that send him movies. He watches them. He says it takes him a while. He listens to music too. Ba bands that send him uh, music, and he says basically, I read an interview with him a, a couple years ago, and he said y you sent it to me. Um, everyone is so milk toast. He said he's never <laughs> yeah. seen uh just more lazy filmmakers and w without balls basically. And just n no one has any bite or balls and no one has any, um, you know, uh, grit. There's no yeah. grit to these films. Um, well, that's what he said. Um, I, I, I think there's some films that have come out, uh, in the last few years that have been really amazing, but 
Um, he's he's fairly disappointed in the the direction of, of the modern filmmaker. I'm curious what you think about Witchtown. Yeah, <laughs> having said that, <laughs> having he was said very, he was very hungry. Uh, see what uh, see what he would say down the uh, down the road. Uh, uh, you know, especially uh, I, uh, me personally, I, I thought that your film was fresh, and uh, uh, and I know it's there's there's not a lot of films like it on on the market. I mean. There are there are filmmakers that have come uh, come across that are similar in style, but uh, but you know uh, you guys uh, you guys did your own thing. You you, uh, you guys made it happen, and uh, and I'm proud of you guys. Uh, I mean I'm 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 not unhappy with uh, you know the money that I eventually put into your film, even though it was just that small minimum. I mean it was still enough, you know. So. Yeah. No, I I appreciate it. that. That was one of the kindest and nicest things anyone's ever said about the film. <laughs> yeah. And I first of all thank you for that. Yeah. Uh, and and second of all, I thank you. Your contribution was not small, man. I couldn't believe anyone would want to spend money on a movie they've never heard of. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like from from directors and stuff and producers that, that that they've never heard of. Well, for, um, I'll tell you the first thing that got me: fifty bucks for a producer title. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll remember that. Yeah, yeah. I thought that sounded. It's like, yeah, why why wouldn't people want that? It's like because I consider that. It's like that's. I mean, if you if you give me fifty. 50 bucks it's like i consider you whether you do or not it's like i consider you a producer it's like man you you help fund the movie that that's one yeah. of the key roles you know um and, and you you went above and beyond david you you've helped share stuff and you've interviewed us now and um you, you wrote the review and it's just i mean you you've been a big help since the beginning and, well, and uh, um probably uh since i uh i I uh, garnered forces with uh, with another YouTuber. I'll probably because it is that kind of a a wacky film. I, I, I'm going to share it with. Uh, 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 he's the one that I told you about that uh, that might want to copy. So um, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. We're, yeah. we're going to go on and probably d uh, uh, do a couple weeks uh, down uh, down the uh, uh, down the road. We're probably going to go in, on and uh, talk about it. Um, just between us because we love crazy films. Uh, so definitely keep a lookout for that. So uh, that's sweet, man. You, you know what <laughs> I want to do too. And uh, the only person I've ever seen do this is Kevin Smith. You know, the director, Kevin Smith. Um, I would love to do audio commentaries with other people for the, for the flick. And we just go at the beginning of the commentary, we go, or at the beginning of the recording, we go, everyone that's listening Hit play on your DVD right now. We're hitting play now. Oh, kind of like And now we'll start the new Science commentary. Kind of yeah. like how Mystery Science Theater did? Uh, yeah. Kind of. Well, it's like, it's like, this is, uh, it's, it's like, it, this <coughs> is now a new, um, of, it would be a talking about the movie or something he does it with other movies too yeah. kevin smith he'll like just go now we're gonna do a commentary of batman 89 <laughs> now we're gonna do this like and just go hit, hit play on your dvd nets um <laughs> i i we we do one with you david if you if you want to do a uh it'd be fun right we could do some kind of video thing where we're watching the flick and doing a uh we're watching it together and doing a podcast Sure, we can do, actually do it on this um, uh, this um, platform. Believe it or not, there's actually a way that you can actually uh, uh, take and uh, uh, flip this to a uh, computer uh, and uh, watch uh, 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 watch any kind of film or, or whatnot. And you can actually uh, uh, while you're while you're video, uh, you can uh, turn this to video, and you can actually turn the uh, uh, and start comment uh, uh, commenting. Like that. I mean, I know uh, that's. Uh, I mean, I know you mentioned Kevin Smith. Uh, well, uh, his counterpart, uh, 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 that uh, uh, Jay, um, he. Uh, I, I swear to God, I, I, I every time he goes on in games. Uh, it, 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 he goes live and then he com uh, he's talking to people while he's gaming. So, 
<laughs> and he does it this way. So, <laughs> in any sweet case, man, yeah. Um, in any case, uh, yeah. It sounds thank sweet. you for uh, thank you for coming on. Uh, I, I like to try to make uh, make these more of a conversation than more of a uh, okay. Where were you on the night of the twenty fourth? You know, <laughs> so, um, <laughs> yeah, like, you know. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't mind either way. You, you can grill us. Yeah. When, how did you do this? I might not well, answer truthfully. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we don't want to. We don't want to admit that. <laughs> Whatever it is. <laughs> uh, but uh, in any case, thank you for coming on. Uh, I, I appreciate you, uh, uh, you guys uh, um, enjoying your uh, uh, cells while, uh, while I'm asking you the, uh, these questions or uh, whatnot. In any case, uh, fo uh, folks, why, uh, why don't we? Uh, why don't you uh, t uh, tell us the website that uh, that we can find your stuff on? One, uh, I mean, once you start uh, our uh, our um, once you uh, start are able to sell your products on, um, uh, why don't you tell us where we can find? You, you got uh, your guys's film merchandise. Sure, it's uh, it's W. You want to do it at the same time? Yeah, it's www.witchtownmovie.com. <laughs> All righty, and uh, there you go, uh, go folks. These are the uh, the directors and producers behind, uh, including myself. Uh, I, I can't. I, I yeah, can't, yes. Don't don't forget yourself, uh, David. Producers behind Witch uh, Witch Town and Witch Town Productions. So uh, definitely keep a lookout for um, what they have in store. Like this uh, said, they're going to be at the uh, the Guru. Um, Say it again. Uh, the uh, the Guru Festival uh, in late October. Oh, uh, it's the yeah, Gulardi Fest. Gulardi I think Festival. H o u l a r, uh, g h o u l gul a r a d i, Gulardi. Yeah, Gulardi <laughs> Festival in Cleveland. We're also going to be Cuyahoga. Uh, it's the Cuyahoga Cuyahoga County Fairgrounds. I think yeah. specifically. Go, yeah. go ahead. Your next and, thing. Oh, well, oh, we're also going to. This be, is a big one. Yeah. It's it's pretty big. Well, which which one? There was because I was gonna say it's the. Two, uh, I was gonna we're, say we're also in Cleveland. Okay, well I was gonna. Okay, you can do that one. I'll do this one. Um, we're also gonna be at. It's called the Unsanctioned Pro Event, uh, wrestling event, in uh in in Columbus, Columbus Ohio, Ohio, um, on June thirtieth, I believe. Yeah, um, I think so we're gonna have a table there. It's it's a death match wrestling convention. And um, I just thought we would fit in. If you look at some of these wrestling shirts, I, I, I've always been a mild fan of deathmatch wrestling. And one of our buddies that was also uh, a guy that helped with the film, um, he's a diehard deathmatch wrestling fan. <laughs> and uh, I, I look at these shirts and I'm like, what, what's the difference between this and a horror movie? Yeah. You know? Um, and uh, good thing you brought up we'll us. be in it. Good hopefully thing. we'll yeah. be in it. They're, they're supposedly going to be wrestling in the convention outside of a ring just in the convention and uh i'm hoping we get to be a part of that maybe maybe they'll slam into one of our our, our, our tables or something yeah <laughs> beat someone with our our movie or you know that and then what what was your thing oh it, it was the it was, it was the cleveland show oh outside in in the patio this is real cool we're gonna be showing it again in cleveland on is it it's july 20th i think um outdoors it's or on, 19th on thursday i think that might be 19 it's 19 to 20 that's on the website um it's going to be yeah, an outdoor show it's in a courtyard between a bunch of businesses which we're hoping will all agree to stay open um and it, it links up to a bar so it's a bar yeah it's the patio you, you can buy a drink sit outside on the patio and watch this movie but it's also linked to the outside so just anyone from you know the neighborhood can walk in and just watch it, it it's it's yeah. like i'm you hoping it's here you can take it out, check out the place. <laughs> that I'll, I'll do a, a mild pitch to the dean rufus house of fun in in cleveland it's like uh it's like spencer's gifts from 1970 something <laughs> it's very cool in there uh he he is uh connected to this courtyard we're trying to convince him to stay open too he just he sells a lot of weird stuff and vinyl records and um yeah it's gonna be a fun uh we, we got a few fun events planned uh, yeah. ahead and um and, and more coming more coming 
and it's it, it's good that you mentioned wrestling uh, uh, because uh, and now it comes down to my uh, my end spiel because uh, I'm also <laughs> a producer, uh, 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 one of the producers behind Wrestle Massacre, which is coming out in 2018 later this uh, this year, uh, uh, having Renee Dupree and uh, uh, wow. some other uh, wrestlers that, uh, that are going to be invo- uh, involved, directed by uh, Brad Twig. So definitely keep a lookout for that, folks. Uh, the Sweet. official trailer was actually released uh, this last week. So um, wow. if you want to check, check that, that out, out. Uh, it's on YouTube. Um, uh, I know. I know. Uh, we just got a. Th- I know we just got a. Uh, got a little bit more money to cover, and uh, then we'll be good to go. <laughs> I'll, I'll look through my emails because I, I get updates from Kickstarter all the time from you. Uh, in all the stuff you back, it, it sometimes I'll go through and it says David Stretch back these five Whoa. projects, you know, <laughs> back to back to back on the same day. Um, I bet I can find it just by typing David Stretch <laughs> Kickstarter into my into my Gmail. <laughs> I, I know um, I'm a, I know I back a, a ton of stuff on uh, Kickstarter, but I've also done stuff on um, uh, GoFundMe and uh, Indiegogo. So, uh, so roughly, I, I haven't even kept tra- uh, track. Uh, I, I probably have over 200 projects that, uh, that I've uh, put into the last wow, few years. Wow. I've actually been uh, um, and, and not all of them have you know gone through. I, I mean, not all of them make it. I, I just believe in it, you know. So. Yeah, uh, but um, you know, I mean, if if it goes through, uh, I mean, I try to help it out, and sometimes I don't have the money by the time the uh, the end of the uh, darn thing ends. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You try uh, try to do what you ca- uh, uh, can while you're uh, while you're doing it, and uh, yeah. Hey, yeah. I I know that plight, man. I I, I get <laughs> I get that plight. So um. I mean, like, uh, like coming up uh, up here, if you haven't got, uh, gotten in on them yet, yeah, you uh, you got um, uh, Auto- uh, Automata, uh, Automata uh, 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 which is ending its uh, Kickstarter coming up, and uh, there uh, there's another one uh, uh, by Space uh, Space Boobs or Space Girls from Outer Space or Space. <laughs> Uh, space. I like that name, Space Boobs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, there, there is there is a short a short film out there called Space Boobs from Outer uh, Space. Uh, so, <laughs> so uh, it, it, I mean, uh, it, it, and uh, that's from a filmmaker in Atlanta. So uh, that sounds great. Yeah, it sounds. It's, <laughs> yeah, out of control. <laughs> I believe that's with uh, Gorific Records. Uh, so if you ever wanted to check that out, uh, it's it's definitely out there. But um, um, in, in any case, um, I'm gonna let you go, uh, uh, guys. Uh, uh, go. Oh, oh uh, t- tonight, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are having a discussion on the uh, uh, Michael Mann's uh, directed f- uh, film from the, uh, the 1980s, Manhunter, uh, which will start our uh, going into uh, talking about silenced lambs and because uh, 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 I do a, a film discussion every Tuesday uh, with a group of people. So if you guys ever want uh, wanted to uh, uh, to uh, now that I know how to get you guys on here, if you guys ever wanted to join us for uh, for a night of uh, debauchery uh, and uh, talking about, that, uh, you I know, would love that, man. I would absolutely love that. That sounds incredible. Yeah. Um. In any case, uh, Manhunter tonight, uh, ladies and gentlemen, about uh, uh, nine ish, uh, nine p.m. Central. So uh, definitely check that out. And uh, you boys have a good afternoon. And th- and thank you for uh, uh, l- letting me get you guys on here. Sorry about the uh, getting you on late, but we got you on. <laughs> so in any case, have a good afternoon. And uh, why don't you uh, say good night to the folks out there? Uh- I think he turned it off. Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, we were having a technical uh, issue there. Uh, um, okay. uh, well, yeah, David, th- th- thanks for having us, man. Um, we know you're a busy guy. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you ever want to have us on again, just let us 
Yeah. No, we're, we're more than willing to, uh, <laughs> more than willing and eager to participate in yeah. further discussions. Yeah. Yes, uh, most definitely. I'll, I'll have you guys on for uh, uh, for a night or two. Uh, two. I'll, ma I'll make sure it's a crazy film so that you guys can. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That yeah. sounds great. All righty. Well, you guys have a good afternoon. <laughs> awesome, and, uh, David. Gentlemen, uh, hopefully you've enjoyed uh, listening to our psychobabble. In any case, have a good afternoon, folks. Signing out.